Hello everyone and welcome back to Code with the Italians. We were off on Wednesday because we were um, abstaining uh, in support of the people on Twitch that were having problems with hate rates and uh, uh, I I was very happy to see a couple of days ago an email from Twitch saying that uh, they're looking into it and they're gonna try and make things better for everyone. So mission accomplished i don't know we'll see hopefully so uh, but we're back and we're back up on the regular scheduling and we have a new guest today fellow streamer adam hey adam welcome hey hello everyone i'm excited to be here thanks for having me you on. want to introduce yourself and maybe your channel as well Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm Adam McNeely. I'm also a GDE for Android. I'm located in New York City. Um, I also stream. I'll drop my, I'll drop something in the chat so you can all click that and follow me. Uh, I stream every Wednesday, uh, but like I just said, I am based in the U.S. So if some of y'all are in Europe, then that's probably not going to work out. But if you're awake late at night, feel free to come hang out with us. Cool. Nice. Uh, I've been told. Oh, don't don't worry about don't worry about the links if they I'm, I'm gonna get them I'm gonna add them also to the episode notes so welcome so we, we are gonna do it right no worries uh, <laughs> chat seems to say that I am a Dalek once again which is weird <laughs> I don't know what's going on <laughs> oh god why is this weird why is everything weird today I Oh yeah, I'm definitely a fucking Dalek. Okay, <laughs> give me a sec. <laughs> Exterminate. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, what time was your uh, bureau clock, Sebastian? Um, it was actually before lunch. So I'm still okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Allegedly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it's like a so sober sober coin, like one hour, one hour sober. Okay, so I have switched microphone. The audio is terrible now, but at least I don't sound like a Dalek anymore, I guess. So I'll have to figure it out at some point. Uh, that point is not now. So yeah, even if you want to, in the, in the meantime, yeah. in the meantime. Just Sebastiano can recover from the technical glitches. I want you. Um, I want to remind you that we are starting uh, shipping the uh, stickers. So this thing is super exciting. I went to the look at this thing. I love it. Uh, my lighting is a bit weird today. Let's try to make it nicer. Okay. Oh, look at him with all so the look at this. all the fancy lights that he bought. Yeah, the fancy light, but this is actually the weird light because it gives me the reflection in the lens. So and I'm, I'm I'm moving to like a more like a ladder thing, but I didn't have time to install them because I have a one week old kid baby. So <laughs> so I forgot how to sleep. Yeah, I, apparently I don't need to sleep anymore. I mean, I feel like I'm in one of those weird uh, CIA experiments, you know, about sleep deprivation and how much you can actually run on Red Bull without sleeping. You know, it's like a, a limbo, you know, like, am I awake or something? And then I'm actually also answering weird questions from my wife about my past and things. You know, she's kind of <laughs> digging for information, like she's exploiting the fact that I don't sleep. So it feels like, you know, like a very weird CIA movie. But yeah, um, so the jokes aside, we also have stamps for everywhere in in the world apparently uh, if we want to ship something like this like a letter uh, with a few stickers in it it's not immensely expensive so we are actually tipping into the the incredible amount of money that we are getting from twitch like the <laughs> shit tons of money so i mean jokes aside i already bought the tesla sebastiano bought the tesla uh, we are also, yeah, the, so now we are basically just buying stamps and stickers because, you know, no more Teslas. I don't have like more parking space. So uh, Teslas apart, jokes aside, it's just going to be like a, a couple of euros to, to ship it around the world. So that's that's impressive. Good, good job. 
uh, good people at the um, Italian post service, postal service or whatever. We also have this very nice stamp about the uh, Euro uh, that we Euro World Cup, the Euro Cup that we won. So if you are in Europe, you are getting the stamp just to get more trolled. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Do you want a stamp? Do you want a stamp? Um, but jokes aside, yeah, we are super excited. So things are happening. We are shipping in Indonesia, Belarus. I'm so excited. So yeah, keep uh, staying with us. We are also going to start um, getting, uh, making the giveaways also via YouTube. Uh, so we are figuring out a way to pick the same way we pick uh, audience live here um, and subscribers. Uh, we are going to do the same thing on YouTube. So if you want to join the giveaways, please subscribe on the YouTube channel because I'm working on something with the YouTube. Um, okay, we are basically um, working on something with the, the YouTube <laughs> ABI and because there is no way to do it like normally. So we are going to pick the subscribers from the YouTube channels and do more giveaways in a more like uh, asynchronous way kind of thing. Uh, so subscribe to YouTube channel and uh, you get you get the, the stickers if you are lucky enough. Um, and yeah, that's it. So where are we? How do we want to do this? So um, you remember before we started streaming that we were having issues with the um, uh, with the audio quality that I was receiving from you. I think I figured out what it is. It's the screen sharing on Skype. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try to oh. share the screen uh, and we're going to have to see if uh, people can still hear you without crackling. Otherwise, there's going to be crackling. And uh, OK. But this is new, right? Yep. That's a new mm -hmm. problem. Uh, but we are all about new problems all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Adam, I have shared with you the link to the, to join uh, Code with Me. So if you want to code directly in Android Studio, you can do it. Uh, people in the chat, do Hi. let me know if there's any more audio issues, and I'll try to work them out. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I seem to remember. I seem to remember that uh, Swipe to Dismiss uh, wasn't something uh, that is available in Accompanist, right, <laughs> Adam, <laughs> for once? Um, no, I don't think it was in Accompanist, but there is a, sorry, I'm multitasking, trying to do this code with me thing at the same time. Uh, there is an experimental uh, composable in the material artifact. Uh, for a swipe to dismiss, and that's what I've used in the past. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's uh, actually let's share the screen, and maybe you can put in the in the chat the link to the. Um... See if I can find yeah. the docs for that. Okay. In the meantime, here goes the screen share. So. Uh, can I do the Darth Vader one? I don't know. I need to install audio effects, like audio filters for my uh, for my microphone and, and see how that goes. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Adam. Welcome to Bundle. The official Bundle. You know, even I just had a great idea. Speaking of originals, why don't you, don't, don't we make mm -hmm. an NFT of the Bundle code? <laughs> <laughs> so that then we can wow. actually buy Teslas. Are we really doing that? <laughs> we can buy all the Teslas. Then. Are we really doing? <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, let, let's do let's do it by commit. Fuck it. <laughs> Why do you even bother with the whole app? If you want to buy this commit, it's like a thousand euro. Boom, yolo. Ah, by the way, the app is open source, but you now yeah, you own it. it. Like what? That's uh, yeah. how NFTs work, right? They're links. Just link to a commit, right? That works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's also a hash. There's also a hash. That's also cool. Ooh, yeah. Uh, the, the, no, no, we're the not doing that. The taste was fun, Adam. Let, let's see if we can make it work this way. 
Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Oh, I yeah, think so. I just need to zoom out a bit because otherwise I cannot find anything. Um, ba -ba -ba, swipe to dismiss. It was somewhere down here. Swipe to dismiss. There you go. It's this one. Oh, wow, it's much easier than I expected. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, yeah, this is going to uh, take hours. We're, we're going to have to do, you know, custom things. And oh, nice. Uh, Compose. A little while, but I can I can walk you through what's sure. here in front of us. Um, all right. So the first parameter, I'll just call out the important ones. So the dismiss state uh, basically keeps track of whether or not it's dismissed and then also which direction. So if you want to do something based on, like, they dismiss from start to end or end to start, uh, you can control that. And then um, inside your state, you also have the opportunity to, like, um, confirm the dismissal. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you want the user to start swiping, but maybe you want them to hit, like, a delete button that appears, you can, like, override that. Uh, but by default, like, the default state will just let you swipe it away. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you've got the directions that it can dismiss. The threshold is like how far do they have to s swipe. The background is what appears behind. They basically create like a stack uh -huh. or whatever. And what appears behind your row item as you swipe away. I actually don't know what dismiss content is. I didn't use that last time. Let's see what the documentation um, says. Uh, dismiss content. The content that can be, I think it's the actual. Oh, okay. So that's your yeah. actual row item. So I did use that. I forgot how that worked. Okay. Uh, that yeah, that's the short. Seems very straightforward. Um, I think the the interesting part will be to go and see how it's actually implemented because I I had like a vague idea of how it could be done, uh, but I've never uh -huh. played with you know gestures and uh, stuff like that. So that that will yeah. be the fun part. Um, by the way, if I uh, if I recall correctly, you did a Twitch stream about this very topic as well a few months did, back, right? Yes. Um, I did, yes. This should be on YouTube as well. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I can also share uh, in chat the code. I eh, can't find my YouTube video. Or my SEO is really bad. <laughs> oh, you know what? This one might not have made it to YouTube. Oh, too bad. Um, but I can definitely share. Okay, this one didn't make it to YouTube. Ah, so uh, were you there when I was telling the story about the time I dressed up as Captain America and I played the Captain America theme song and then YouTube gave me a copyright claim? I yeah, was that's why it's there. Because that was the I was there stream. on that, that stream. The same... I think it's <laughs> one of the few that I've managed to see live. Uh, and then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow, that escalated quickly. It's Disney, dude. It's <laughs> yeah. Disney. They have lawyers. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I understand, but you know, that's not. Oh no, yeah, they, we are making less money because Adam used our soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. And I don't yeah. think you can affect them that way. Okay. And this is how Disney yeah. went broke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah, can yeah, drop yeah, yeah. Uh, the code link in chat to where I've done oh, this nice. before. Um, it's going to look complicated because uh, it took a couple tries to figure out. Um, but I mean, where do you where do you want to start? I think um, we should just start with the um, the basic implementation uh, because my idea yeah. would be so in the application. Uh, I don't have the app running, of course I don't, uh, but that shouldn't take much time. <laughs> uh, I have though the um, in in the main screen of the application. There is the uh, mm -hmm. current notifications screen, well, the current notification tab and the uh, history tab as well. So in the mm -hmm. history tab, I would like to be able to swipe a notification to delete it from our, uh, from our database because you never know. Maybe okay. it's a notification you don't want yeah. your friends to ever see if, you're, if they're playing with your phone. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you got tickets to Furricon or something like that, and you don't you want to hide it from your friends. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, no, no and, shame. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you do you. Uh, but uh, and, and this is 
the, the history one. So here a swipe would just remove it from the database. Uh, whereas okay. in the active notifications, uh, the idea is that we want to be able to swipe the notification away to snooze it until the next um, the next okay. time that we want the notifications. Speaking of, Ivan, do you realize that we haven't implemented yeah. any core features of the app in the past two months? We've done so many other things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's how pet projects yep. work, right? That's that's what you. So the, the the whole idea is that I want to snooze notification. Yep. Fast forward six okay. months. Fast forward, we have an onboarding that well, okay, oh. fancy. Uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of people that helped us building the onboarding, and, and we have the same lazy column that we we had like two weeks <laughs> in. It's still there. <laughs> Uh, but now we changed the 15 million type of data storage. We are animating whatever we want. Yeah, so that's that's how it works. That's why we need the project manager. I, 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 we don't I need a design. Do it we need a project already. manager. I don't want to have to do it on the stream as well. Remember, this is a ah, stress-free okay. uh, endeavor. Okay. So basically, we are paying the price of your PTSD on this project so that's that's it's okay, not PTSD, okay, okay but i have to deal enough cool. with emails and tickets and stuff uh on my day job so mm -hmm. uh, we should we should think about we should talk about this live in one episode with hadi hi hadi why don't you join us and we talk about sebastiano's well-being <laughs> it's just like group <laughs> therapy and suddenly group therapy yeah uh okay anyway sorry All please right. go so do we want to start with the archived one or the active one? Uh, it's the same, I guess, because uh, once we've done it in one, right. I think we can almost copy paste it and change the icon in the other one, probably. So is this the notification item composable? Um, is that the right one? Let me see where you are. Yes, you are in the right place. Oh man, I love cooking meat. It's so good. Nice. Oh Yes, can, I can follow can you. See exactly I where can I'm spy at. what you're doing. Fancy. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, and I guess this is my other question. Do you do you two like to type and I kind of talk through it, or do you want me to um, type? As you wish, really. If you uh, if you have code that you know how to write already by yourself, feel free to do it. Otherwise, I, I have some ideas. Then go for it. Um, go for it. Because I have a very so I have a very like iterative style to programming mm -hmm. where I just want to like kind of get something that I can put on the screen and oh, yeah. like see that it's step by step. Same. So what I'm thinking is like I would love to make like a um like swipeable notification item. And then we can have this I'm gonna copy all the same uh -huh. stuff. Uh and then whoops. Uh can't format apparently. Oh, I can't. Maybe it's just a little uh, no, slip. No, it's just that uh, if you uh, if you are on the other side of the Atlantic, there might be some lag, so it might take some time for the action uh, to actually run. Because it's all running Blaming on what? my computer, so you do something, it sends it to me, and yeah, I send right. you back the result. Well, my computer does. Yeah, I'm okay. not doing anything. So what I was thinking about doing is just adding the swipe to dismiss and giving it like default values. Mm -hmm. Um, and like even making the background just like a, a red box or something. And uh, yeah, yeah about that. Uh... This should have. There we go. The background. So like here, I would just do a box. Um, I'm gonna make it build max size or width at least. Um, yeah, let's do width, and then give it a color of red, just to make sure that we can get the initial swipe to dismiss set up to work. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And then once we know that we can get this in here, then we can play around with making it do the things that we want it to do. Yeah, that's a very good approach. Sorry. It's fine. Um, and then just FYI, the, Code With Me is still in uh, preview state for Android Studio, so there might be bugs and stuff yeah. that doesn't really work. In that case, just let me know uh, and I'll help you on my yeah. side. 
the one keyboard <clears throat> shortcut. So I usually use like the option enter, which will um, like auto import, but that wasn't working. So that's why I went back and if I wait for the code to complete, it works. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. the alt enter thing is not always working. But if you control space, it does work. So there's that. Binge. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Hey Mark. <laughs> it should work. Okay. Uh, well Okay. Um so let's let's run well now I need to replace this. So this is a start, right? We'll keep our state and we've got uh -huh. a background. Um I want to make sure that this like shows up on the UI, and then we can talk a little bit about um, how we actually deal with this dismiss state. Uh, but where do you know where this is used? Uh, I think you can, um, yeah, just nest everything in notification item within a swipeable notification item. So just for now, to make it yeah, run, just I... put it here or something. Okay, we could. Um, then we'll we'll figure out later how to make it look nice if we need to. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of the. Uh, well, isn't there? You've got like a notification list screen, right? Yeah. I was thinking if I go to the source where we create the notification list item oh, okay. and replace okay, that with okay. a swipeable one, that might be a little more readable. Yeah. I found it here. So that would be in the notification list. Yeah, here. Yep. Right. I beat you to yeah. it. Yeah. Damn you. Okay. So kids. let's run this. Let's <laughs> see if we can. Okay. So what we need to do though now is to actually put the content in there, right? Because otherwise um, it's going to be well, blank so this right should now. Be... Oh no, you put it there already. Uh, the background yeah, yeah. will be blank, but yeah. So you can see like right where you are on line one thirty-seven. You can see I just called the existing yeah. composable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. You're too fast yeah, yeah. for me. So that yeah, I it's running now. If you try to swipe one, does anything yeah, happen? Yeah, you can swipe it. Whee! Oh, nice. I swiped okay. it. Oh. Oh, that was, All right, was there is no... Yeah, it doesn't do anything right. yet. But the background didn't show up. All right, yeah. It just swipes. Okay. So, the background didn't show up. Uh, so, I think that's because I probably need to make this, like, fill the max size instead of max width. Yeah. I don't know why the app keeps closing. Interesting. I see some is logs. It, is it crashing? I like that I can see a log cat. Um, uh, I think it's trying to do some live updating because it just said Boolean cannot be cast to number. Okay. I don't know where the heck it's doing that. But. Oh, live literals. Okay. Let me let me okay. disable live literals for now. Uh, that maybe was the issue like it it's it's a new thing in the latest canary of bumblebee because i think it didn't have this problem before yeah uh so i just disabled it for now yeah. and let's run it again and let's see how it goes obviously for now we don't really have a dismiss action oh, oh. there is a red yeah. background all right the red background is there it's it is taking uh -huh. up the whole space yeah, I'm surprised that it takes up more space than the car. I think I uh, know but why. I think I, can, yeah. I think I know why. Uh, okay. uh, there might Is it that function right there? be some padding that shouldn't be there, probably. Uh, content. What is bottom padding if last item? Oh, I see. If it's not the last item, it adds some padding. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, oh. if, if not last item, yeah. But at the same time, we don't really need this because when I wrote this, I didn't know that there is, uh, the item, right the well, what is the name? I think there is a way to do that, no? Uh, yes, you want vertical arrangement. Uh, vertical arrangement, okay. 
So let me do it. Okay, and vertical arrangement. Yeah, you can do arrangement uh, dot spaced by. Uh, you might not see it in the auto complete. Okay. Space between. Okay. Now, uh, type arrangement and then do a lowercase s spaced by. I think because ah, it's not a constant, it's not okay. showing up. There you go. Ah, it's then you like can a give function. it a dt value. Okay. okay. Uh, Ooh, single mm -hmm. I think we can remove this. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll get it back. But I don't think we need it anymore. Let's run it and see. Oh, yeah, obviously I removed the comma there, which was kind of necessary. Uh, let's see. If it works, then we don't need the is last item property anymore. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Okay. There's just a glimp on the core. Yeah, but, yeah. That's, so but that's, that's, that's okay. That's expected. We can, we can that's fix that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can easily fix that. Okay. I just wanted to get rid of the is last item thing that was here. Yep, so that's that. not there. Good that's factoring. not there. And I'll the do. index is actually not used anymore. So I can just do items notification. Uh, all right. This is the thing where it really gets confused with the imports. Yeah, the items one always gives me issues too. So this one uh, is, I need to import it properly because uh, that's not the right one. But the, if I put the import there, it should work. I don't know why. It's a relatively recent thing. Uh, it didn't happen yeah. a few weeks ago, but now yep. it still doesn't like it. This is one I usually start typing and let the autocomplete input yeah. for me. OK, let's yeah. actually do that. OK, let's come. Remove the S. Comment is out, and I'll do items. And I want this one, where I have items yep. equals items. Uh, I'll, I'll skip the key for now. It doesn't matter. And I just put this one. OK, now it works. So I can put the key, and I can put this here. OK, I can remove this. And I can remove this. OK. It's still complaining about life, I think. Run it. Um, Run oh, it. look at your key, Lambda. Uh, I think you can remove that underscore, because you're no longer doing it. Oh, right. yeah. oh that was the problem. Ah, Good catch. Yeah. That was a Good tricky catch. Match. OK, so it's okay. less angry now. I can just remove this and this because I'm not used anymore. Yeah, this is the maintenance oh, for the preview. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, all right. Let's run it again. Let's yeah. run it again. Make sure we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure we haven't fucked up anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, lo local history. You know, that's what we yeah. like. That's why we have okay. it, right? It seems like we're fine. Oh, nice. Yeah. Seems to work. Like it's okay. properly so, dismissed. Ish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it, it dismissed. Oh, man. So, is it, what? is it just me no, or I can see something? No, no, it's here. On the when right you, side. Right. It's yeah, still when there, you right? dismiss so it, it's expected. Oh, when you dismiss it, you kind of have to uh, actually clear it by hand, I think. Otherwise, it just sits there. Yeah. I don't know why, but. Yeah. So. I'm sure someone at some point will make like a wrapper around this, but um, you know, compose in some ways it's very opinionated, in other ways it's not. So, like you have to do all the logic yourself to like actually remove the list item when it's dismissed, and even hide the view. Like so, their definition of dismissed is it's just off mm -hmm. to the side, and you can see mm -hmm. the background. Mm -hmm. um, so. Let's see. What do we want to do next? I was actually just looking at this before the stream. I was looking at my old sample to try to remember how that worked. So the sample I had built before was you would swipe a little bit, and then you'd see like a delete icon. Yeah. 
and we would force the user to tap the delete icon, and then it would be gone. Are you thinking about trying to build like the same idea? Um, I think for the uh, active notifications, given it's only um, a snooze thing, then we probably sure. don't need that. Okay. Uh, but do we want to be like a do we want them to be able to just swipe and it snooze, or do we want to show some icon in the background yeah. or something and like make? Yeah, them yeah. Click I on would it? do you know like in in the Gmail app where you get the orangey background and the snooze yeah. icon, or we'll probably do something like that. Okay. So, all right. Um, can you go back to uh, where I'm at in yep. notification item? Oh, yeah. we're already there. Okay, so I think that we can, instead of a box here, um, well, actually, I guess we could leave it as a box. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'll make this blue. Blue feels like a snooze color, <laughs> but we can always change this. Um, we don't want to get sued by I mean, the Gmail designers for copying their UX <laughs> one to one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's Intellectual add. proverb theory yeah. with this wipe. No, is this not? I'm not getting any auto complete. Uh, Do you yeah, have it? Yeah. Oh, you have. Yeah, sometimes okay. uh, again, uh, in Android Studio, is not as robust as in IntelliJ, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, let's see. We should have. I wonder if there's like a. Timer. Let's see what the timer icon looks like. Uh, great idea. Yeah, we would have like a, a notification dismiss. Yeah, so we'll you're already on the thing, and I'll add the imports in the meantime. And then, uh, yeah, uh, you need to put it in lambdas, I think. Oh, you're right, you're it's, right. Yeah, it has to be a lambda, otherwise, no worky. <laughs> OK, so uh, the idea is that now we have our uh, swipe to dismiss oh. composable. I don't know what happened. I think, uh, oh, yeah, there's two of them. OK. Out of, yeah. Okay. OK, content is formatted. I uh, disagree, but let's. Uh, Let's do it like this. OK. <laughs> now it's proper. So yo, hey, hey. it's, it's, uh, it's the, the format is opinionated. <laughs> I opinionated. have opinions. That's OK. This is a very opinionated <laughs> stream. Uh, also, hello um, to no, Maxel W in the chat. First time in yeah. the chat. So hi. Welcome. That is my old roommate. Ooh. Thanks for coming again. Um, oh, but the other thing before we run this, let's um, align this. Do alignment that start center center start. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, that's unnecessary. Whoa. Yep. That was a little aggressive there. Yeah, it. Yeah, uh, but also wrong I don't because we need this it companion. Was, yeah, it's a studio. Right, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's and I'm also going to be opinionated here, and I'm going to put this in its own function. I'm going to call this snooze background. Yep. I like your uh, opinion for now. The shortcut I got there. <laughs> uh, refactor. Yeah. So far, so far, I don't so have good. extract method. Uh, you should um, have the shortcut, uh, which should be uh, command alt m, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I thought. OK, uh, then I'll do it. But not working for me. All right. I was going to put that in a function called snooze background. I like. I see that you've done this around the app too, of uh, breaking out a lot of small yeah, composable functions. I, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. the nesting yeah. is horrendous. Yeah, I think it's okay to have a couple of right. two, three levels of nesting, but more than that, I try to break it down also because yeah. those functions otherwise come like this long. Um, even I think we have some spam in the chat. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to take care of it. Thank no you. worries. Okay. Yep. Uh, we got another thing we should look at before we run this. 
uh, that's important with swipe to dismiss. So if we scroll up a little bit to the swipe notification oh, function. Follow you. Easier. Uh, we have the same, <laughs> yeah. So um, let's, oh, you mentioned liking to look at the doc sometime. So if you command click on remember dismiss state, uh -huh. uh, oh, it followed me. OK. So you see how we have this confirm state changed, and it's a Boolean function. It's a Lambda, but it just returns true. Mm -hmm. So that true is basically what it allowed what allowed it to swipe all the way off screen like that. So let's say we would want to control this uh, to make sure that we don't actually let that happen. Um, what's the thing? Where did I go? Uh, until the user actually clicks the button. So what I did last time is I made this like um, has snoozed. I also realized we should update this to this is kind of specific to snoozing, but we should we'll have to change yeah, it later yeah. to work for the history. Uh, basically, I keep like a Boolean that starts off as false. Mm -hmm. So we keep track of whether or not you snoozed and then our dismiss state. We do remember dismiss state, but here we can override that confirm state changed. And so we can say here, um, uh, simplifying this for now, we want to return has snoozed. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, I don't think I would need to return there. Has snoozed that down? Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, no, no. I, I made it by, so it should be fine. Maybe it's just this one needs oh. to be equals. Yeah. Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. whatever. All right, because it's, can this it's be a state. Okay. Can. okay. So I think there's actually more to this, but let's run this and let's see what so this does. So the idea behind this, if I'm following you, is that, um, well, in the swipe to dismiss, the remember dismiss state, the confirm state change uh, parameter, mm -hmm. it's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, in the view world where you have things that return true or false depending whether uh, you are you have handled something or not in this case is to shut it should it actually dismiss or should it not dismiss right right so it's the same idea but yeah this one kind of runs before like ah. this determines if it can change so this yeah. runs before like when the user starts moving or does it run continuously um that is a good question i don't we'll find know. out uh, i think it would be like once you hit your dismiss dismiss threshold and it's trying to figure out if it can keep going off the screen or mm -hmm. what um but i actually think so this will do something interesting but let's yeah. run this and let's see what it does run it i'll show you how this got this got complicated <laughs> for me real quick <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can uh figure it out okay so Oh, blue. It's very blue. Okay. So it seems right. to it's very blue. Yeah. be working. It always snaps back. That's good. Until you Great. swipe. No, it does. OK, so I guess it's at the end. Right. So does it fling? No, because we have set it to right. false. It's always false, I guess. So. Right, right. So that's why it's always coming back to the mm -hmm. start, is because Basically, we're not allowing it to change its state. Um, but so, all right, well, one thing is, uh, I don't like the way that icon looks. Yeah. Um, but what I ran into last time is I wanted, um, I wanted it so that when I swipe away, it wouldn't complete, but that when it comes back, it should mm -hmm. stop wide enough for that icon to be mm -hmm. visible. That is something we need to handle ourselves as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, here's how I did that. Um, I made another thing uh, where I called this like has tried to snooze. And this was just another state of. OK. And so um, Inside this confirmed state changed, I had updated this. I said, okay, if 
So I did this specifically for um, if we're trying to dismiss to end, uh, which okay. for those people would be like left to right. That's kind of how we mm -hmm. have it set up. Um, then has tried to snooze is going to be true. And then we still want to return, you know, um, if they have confirmed. Um, otherwise, so I'm saying if the user swipes the other direction, I'm just going to return false. So this is another way of basically saying like the user can only swipe. Uh, why? Okay, there we go. Uh, this is another way of saying the user can only swipe from the start to mm. end direction. So you can only drag it to that the right. Sense. You cannot drag it to the left. Correct. Correct. So no, that needs to be a bar. Actually, Otherwise, you cannot set it. It does need to be a bar. Okay, then. We're going to change the other yeah. one, too. OK. Um, it's just annoying that you get a lit warning. Uh, it's like because, a yeah, way. we assigned it, but we haven't read it really yet. That's fine. Oh, I see, I see. OK. Um, so then with this, uh, the next thing we need to think about is, um, OK, so we know whether or not the user is trying to dismiss right mm -hmm. now, right? And so. Then what we want to do is we want to set like the offset of the card itself. So the way I did that was um, I had set this like content offset property, mm -hmm. and then uh, has tried snooze. And I'm looking at my old project. I think I hard coded this. It's fine for based now. Based on yeah. how much I think yeah, yeah. a uh, icon button. Yeah, not we are not judging you, Adam, for hard coding. Yeah, I mean, yes, no the worries. proper way to do that, I guess, would be to get from the snooze background the size of the button uh, using a layout right. modifier. Yeah. Uh, but the, I mean, we know yeah, what it is. Back. We don't need to make our life too I'm complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, OK. So then what we need to do is um, we actually want this offset to be on um, our content in here, this notification item. Uh, so one way we could do that um, is we could pass a modifier into the notification mm -hmm. item. Or if we don't want to do that, uh, we could just put our own modifier here and then wrap everything inside of it. So we could use this offset modifier mm -hmm. or content offset, and then we'll just put our own notification item in there. Yeah, I need to do uh, the import. Yeah. Okay, done. Yep. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, that's probably like a little quicker, hacky way. Um, see, now this, this is what I mean. All we've done is configure how to show the snooze button. And then it should fling back. And we've already got like a pretty long method here. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll get to but reduce it. Can a clear bit. it OK. Yeah. So, uh, so what happened? Yeah. OK. Away? That works. OK. But now I cannot so bring it back now, right? You're right. Um, Thank you for the sub. So, well, we yeah. Have a sub. Nice. From ShadowNet. Uh, Nice. So interesting. You're right. I did not do this in my last sample. It's fine. The idea of undoing this. It's fine. It's uh, fine. I think what we could do is, um, well, we could say if the user is trying to dismiss in the other direction, we can set our like has tried to false. Uh -huh. So if I did like else if uh, dismiss value dot dismiss to start. Okay. Uh, stuff happened. I have too, too many. I'm working on it. I'm yeah. working on it. Uh, oh, God, we we're close. close um, I need an else if here. Okay, what is it complaining yeah. about? Type Almost mismatch. There. Oh, yeah, we need uh, false. One here, more so. something. Oh, yeah. I need to return something there. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so types, right? Really, I mean, they are so annoying. To, yeah. Uh, if we're trying to, and now this is also asking us to replace with a when statement, I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, go for it if you want. 
All right, try it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it still is definitely in a early stages. Yeah. Okay, but now if you um, so if you swipe to the right, it should snap back to the icon. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but now if you swipe left, no. Oh, now no, it, did. it did. I think it's because oh, it needs right. to go. So there's probably yeah. the it's probably the threshold. We probably yeah. need to change the okay. threshold depending on the state. So maybe make it 48 dip when okay. it's already offset. Otherwise, it's half of it. That's yeah. probably how we do it. Something like that. Um, OK, this looks good. Do we want to? I kind of want to fix the placement of this. Yeah, iPad. let's do that because it's annoying me um, as well. <laughs> we'll figure out what, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have been, so, I have been like just quiet for like a good ten minutes now because every time you swipe <laughs> and the icon is top left, my eye is itching. So you know, I'm keeping busy following the chat and notes, episode notes. Okay, but thank you for noticing and fixing <laughs> it. Yeah. No, I noticed it. I just. This should work, I think. Yeah, I think that was the biggest problem. Is I put the alignment on the icon instead of on the icon button. Uh, there's another so thing that I would do, do which is set to tint. Oh, because yep, I also saw it. Set that to white. Maybe. Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't remember if we have um, the colors. There was something, right? Other colors. No, there was something. Uh, how can we do? How can we do the like the on on color from? Oh the color? yeah, we had something. Yes. At some point. So oh. you do material theme. Uh, that colors, and then you could do like. Something. Yeah, but that would only restrict you to having uh, the material one. So what I wanted to do was well, that should. If you set your own material theme, that will reference your bundle colors. So we have, for example, um, we have the the bundle colors uh, function is the one that will get uh -huh. the appropriate colors depending if it's bright, uh, light, or dark. Yeah. Um, but uh, other things that we have done is, for example, create an extension function oh, I see. for fields, uh, and I think we can do the same thing here. So. Like we can have a colors uh, notifications I news background, uh, and we'll we'll have to define those colors. And the same for notifications news icon or foreground. And yeah. then we can do if it's one, if it's the other, because we have the where have all the spaces gone. Did someone go here and delete the spaces when I was not looking? <laughs> this is unacceptable. Uh, we are like a, accepting pull requests, probably. People are <laughs> <laughs> just messing with your code side. I need to do a annotate and see who's the last person who's changed this file. <laughs> yeah, sure. Probably, probably Chris. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> OK, so let's say. OK, so oh, I will oh. change the. Uh... Oops, I will change the um, colors in the file, and then once you change them here and where you're yep. working, we should be able to run it. Uh, isn't there an orange? There's no orange but color. Yeah, well, blue. blue is fine. Uh, maybe there is a... There's very few colors <laughs> that are predefined. Yeah. Uh, this foreground. Oh wait, this was dark. So in dark blue. No, there's only <laughs> there's only blue. Uh, but I can um change the saturation. Maybe. Can I? Where's Roman when you need <laughs> Roman? <laughs> Uh, I have the luminance, luminance, but I don't think that's the one. I... Is there like a colors thing I can use, like a helper? Mm. Uh, I mean, you can create it with like your own hex code. Yeah, or that's probably but... the easiest thing because there's very, very few of them. 
And I'm just going to hmm. pick a color and go for it. So... Who designed the color palette of music now? Sorry? Who designed the color palette that you yeah, have Yeah, the horrible now? color palette, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering. I don't I'm, like I'm, it, but... <laughs> Well, we are we are poor, so poor we don't one, like, we can't afford the designer. Ah. It's because we bought the stickers. Yeah, it was either yeah, I mean, one or we, the other. <laughs> the next round of stickers can go to a designer. Too too many stickers. Can we use this one? Let's use and, this. and too many stamps. Adobe suggested this. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, oh wait, that's supposed to I be mean, the dark one. Right. Uh, I'll make it darker. Okay. So, is uh, is this thing also checking accessibility? I'm I'm asking, like yeah, genuinely asking, is, which is very nice. This is actually cool. So you can have like it's color dot Adobe. Okay, let me add it to the notes. Yeah, this is enough Fs. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it tells you like the contrast ratio. Uh, you can check color blind safety. Yeah, That's very nice. Safe. That's actually nice. Oh, that's super nice. Let's add it to the note. Okay. Thanks. Uh, actually, this should be light. Light is that, and this is. I'll just do bundle white. Okay. Okay, and dark is going to be the other one that I copied. That's fine. Ah. And then I need a gray that is dark enough, but it's still accessible. Okay. Yeah, so this one is, I think it needs to be like 4.5, yeah, 4.5 or higher contrast for it to work. So our dark icon color is going to be B3, B3, B3. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> uh, no. Snooze. Notification background light or notification background dark. And then we also have the same thing but for foreground. Uh, I, I don't remember what is the button to. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, but it was in selection, you maniac. Uh, in selection. Okay, good. Yeah, it would have taken way less time if I had remembered which icon was which, but I don't. And I also forgot the keyboard shortcuts for those, yeah. so uh, it took way more time than it should have. All right, let's run this. Okay, you're done on your side, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, look at it. Marvelous. Nice. Marvelous. Nice. Um, so I think like the the first thing that we have is that now we need to re-swipe all the way to make it. But also if you like the, the threshold should be the 48 tips, right? On on the way out. So that if you go over that, it, it sticks to to the to showing the button, correct? Does that make sense? Say that again. So, right now, I was looking don't at it. Sorry. Right now, we have the threshold, which is uh, halfway. So we need to go more than halfway to show the button. But wouldn't it make mm -hmm. sense to have like a shorter threshold, say maybe something like this? So if you expose the whole of the button and you leave it, then it stays to the button. Yeah. We could do yeah, that. I like it. So yeah, I like it. Okay, so if we go back to where we create our swipe Ooh. to dismiss, ah, you're following me again. Uh, I was there already should there be this time. a dismiss threshold. 
um, which it looks like this takes in a direction, which is nice. So we could specify. Let me look at the source code. How does that work? Oh, so they do whatever this fractional threshold is. We could do the same thing, I guess. Um, but we could. Or maybe not. Is that a private function on there? Mm, not sure. Uh, yeah. um, all right, let, I got to dig into some source code here. I don't know what a threshold config okay. is. Okay. Um, no, it is not uh, uh, private. It's not private. Probably just lagging. So probably just, probably. yeah. OK, so. Lagging the yeah, autocomplete. Yeah. Let's cut, cut it in half, say, like 25% yeah, of the way. Good enough for now. Oh, OK. Uh, both directions, we can call it that. I could even remove that. Um, Let's try this. Actually, before we go, I want to do one yep. other thing uh, while we're here. Um, so we have our snooze background. Uh, and we're already giving it this background, this color. Uh, but I believe you can also give it a shape. Yep. And the card view uses the medium shape. So I'm hoping that if I give this also a medium shape, that we will avoid that like weird little corner. Ah, the, Let's oh, find nice. that. You, you are so yeah. The blue sure. should be rounded the same way the card. Doing the same thing that I wanted to do as well. Yeah, you don't see it anymore. Oh, look, look at that! At but I'll, I'll tell you look more. Fucking! I'll tell you shape. more. We'll we'll animate that fucking yeah. shape <laughs> because I can. <laughs> <laughs> compose. What? what do you mean? Compose animate? brings out the worst. Oh, look thing. at that! That's actually. Uh, I mean that. The, it starts with the same corner as the card, but as you swipe out, it becomes a rectangle. Why would you? I mean, I um, want to why? see doing it. I why want not? to see doing it just for the sake of it. But why the <laughs> fuck would you do it? I mean, there is the moment we get a UX or like a designer in this thing, they are just gonna look at you like Sebastiano. You should ask for medical help of some sort. What? I just want to see one of my favorite done. movies. Yeah, um, I mean, your scientists I, were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't ask whether or not they yeah. should. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Why not? Yes, I get the why not, but I uh, okay. Let. But I I still think we need to first before doing the animation thing. I, I still think when the the card is All in right. the state, we need to reduce the threshold to essentially nothing. OK, so yeah, let's do that. So this dismissed threshold gonna, gives us a direction. I'm going to animate the, 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 the corners. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, uh, oh, yeah, uh, what is okay, happening? Okay. Uh, so if we're going it's start honest. to end, um, we'll give it a quarter. Else, I don't know, like. Point, yeah, something, like something silly five, like that. Like make it move a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up because I'm nitpicky. <laughs> I mean, you could be a monster and put the when with inside the <laughs> the fractional threshold call. <laughs> <laughs> I said you could be an animal. I, I... Okay. In my defense, good. There was a premise there. <laughs> I mean, I should also use constants, oh. here, but <laughs> baby steps. Okay, so let's try swiping to the right and then. Yeah, all right. Oh, and then. it jumped. Okay, yeah. Uh, that point five uh, is like a little more than it seems, I guess. Yeah. Can I make it zero? I mean, I probably could, but I, that might be a bit extreme. I mean, uh, we can YOLO, we can YOLO the shit out of see this and see like. how it goes. Yeah. Trial and error. That's part of how we develop code. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know, but, but you can still swipe a bit, right? Yeah, you can still swipe, and you can still swipe this. Yeah, that's yeah. fine, right? But I like the the instant snapback that yeah. you get when you swipe on the, the other side. So I like it. I, I mean, I, I wanted to ask you, Adam. Do you know if there's a way to prevent like swiping this way? Uh, I haven't found 
a way to um, entirely prevent swiping. Like we've seen, we can prevent it from being dismissed, but I don't know. Um, but the, but what oh, well, with directions? Yeah, maybe directions. I don't know what yeah, that. So let's try specifying directions as only one way. Directions, we can do set of. I think, though, let's try and run this, but I think. But this is also going okay, to so I... prevent this from working, for example, I guess. Yeah. It, you can kind oh. of pull it a bit, but not really. Uh, okay. Um, you, can, you can do this. But you cannot pull it back. Yeah. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay. That's not... It's a bit more aggressive. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe that's something that... Um, because it's, it's actually disabling okay. every swipe, like at any stage. Uh, uh, yeah, it's saying basically. you can only dismiss in uh, to the right, uh, but we are right. counting on dismiss to the left to undo the, the threshold dismiss thing. Yeah. yeah. Since we're trying crazy ideas, mm -hmm. uh, what if when... Every time we try to dismiss to end, we just toggle the has tried to snooze state. So instead of swiping it back to the left, you just pull to the right again. Okay, yeah, we can try that. I made the change. Run it. And oh, you've we'll made it I mean. already. You're too fast, uh, dude. Too fast. Yeah, of, okay, sorry. <laughs> Up on uh, where we where we have confirmed state okay. change. Okay. And I do it again, and it goes away. Oh, yeah, sure, that works. What do you yeah, think of that? that? That's actually quite nice, yeah. Okay, so... But if you um, do this, it sorry, doesn't go Sorry, for chat anywhere. who didn't see this. Ah, I see what you mean. If you scroll up to... Um, yeah. If right you scroll here. up to uh, confirm uh -huh, state uh -huh. change. Yeah, so I just changed this to, like, toggle the mm -hmm. boolean. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Every time okay. it tries to discuss. That makes sense. I think I would do it even if you could also drag it back. Like, it, I think it still makes sense. Well, to to try and do yeah. like if you're swiping again, it's like oh yeah, let's go back. That that actually makes okay. sense to me. Then okay, then I just have to get rid of the directions line that we just yeah. added. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate with swipe. directions because uh, I was expecting like different behavior, but no, yeah. actually it makes sense that probably you just. Don't want the swipe events at all from that direction, yeah. right? Um, but I'm and surprised. I, I think so will, the way you can you can you do instead of start to end? Do you also have like top bottom on the, because uh, it would make sense, you know, if it no. was also vertical. But uh, just for uh, the sake of it, because you know you're swiping the card from from top to bottom, but there's more like I can I, I can I look it up. I think there's another way we can do it, keeping with our uh, if else driven implementation. We can also put an if else here mm -hmm. in the direction, and if it's in the in the open state, then we allow swiping ah, nice. also to the left. Otherwise, we don't. Oh. Hmm, we can, we can try. Um, nice. Uh, we can yes. certainly try. Uh, <laughs> I like the effects driven development. I mean, I think uh, they call it AI in, I mean, in fancier circles. But... Yeah, but the fancy, fancy people call it machine learning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just a bunch of effects. I, well, I mean, it's a, a lot of efforts, but let's see if it works. Yeah. I don't know; it might not work, but no, this know. this will work. Whee! <laughs> that can you do okay, also so the double the double swipe uh, to delete? Yep. Oh, nice! This is so cool. So while it's here at this flat, try to swipe to the left. Nice. Okay, this so that's. Good. So it seems like even if, so right there, the end to start is not included. It seems like it still moves a little bit. Yeah. But bit, maybe yeah. that's intended. I think that's and intended. That's because that tells the user that you can't yeah. do this. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it's like it a doesn't wanna. A it queue. doesn't want to move. You know, the, the swipe is. Mm. You know, one thing I would. Oh, another do. way. 
I know another way uh-huh. that we could probably do that. Um, where we could say anytime you swipe to the left, we hide, we like toggle the slag. I just remember there's another thing we could do. Okay. Um, so there's, I don't know if we would like this. So I'm going to, I'm going to comment out our directions change for a quick sure. second, just to, um, to make sure that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mark, uh, we are secretly <laughs> implementing a dating app. <laughs> yeah, it's a notification dating app. Yeah, do you like your notifications or not? I used to work on one of those. Yeah, I mean, it's a startup uh, idea right there. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you're still where... Um, I was a second ago, but I can I follow am. you, so I know what, but, uh, what you're doing. Okay. So... Here we have a reference to our dismiss state. Um, we can actually reference in the dismiss state, there's a dismiss direction. Uh-huh. And I was thinking of this earlier, and this is more or less whatever u- direction the user is dragging. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So I think we could say that if this is equal to um, end to start, then we say has tried to snooze is false. Mm-hmm. I'm a little worried though that like so if this will make it jumpy. Mm. So if you're like actively dragging left and then we change this content offset, like I, w- I don't know if we're gonna like screw it up, but I just want to see what I think it happen. will probably jump, but what Sorry? we can do is we can uh we can animate this value with a spring. <laughs> like we can animate the offset so it oh. looks smooth instead of just jumping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So fake it until you make Dude, it, basically. That's like computer graphics for you. Right. Yeah, okay. that's so I swipe okay. here. I uh, yeah. yeah. Oh nice. Uh, yeah, by the way, I, I've added oh, wait, a padding wait. on the right hand side so you don't see the background on that side. Uh because I think it is better uh. where you don't see wait. the blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Padding. <laughs> Wait, <Yeah. what? laughs> it's just animation, animation driven development. So I think I I don't working if you the left is it still yeah it jumps I don't know. but it's yeah. jumpy. I, I kind of like what we just I don't know. I kind of like what we had with our if else driven development. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, so, whatever works, right? Yeah. Whatever works. Um, also, maybe I'll do this after. I feel like this would be good for a uh, good opportunity for some code comments later, but we can always do that later. Um, okay. So, um, I mean, it jumps this way as well, to be honest. Because the problem is that the offset goes immediately to zero. And it kind of mm. jumps when you're swiping it to the right, but you don't really see it much because it's already moving quite fast. So you don't really notice it. But it is doing a small jumpy jump thing. Oh, look. Change it so that we just have to do the, the double right swipe thing. Because I was thinking, like, if you do this and then you swipe it all the way, it looks weird. Oh. You see, it looks very weird. What was it? Yeah, I, I think and the... The blue... Yeah, the gonna... swipe to dismiss thing. Uh, I think it needs some extra uh, APIs to, to implement these things without going crazy. Because you can technically do all these things, but we're really hacking around it. It doesn't feel like we're doing it by the book. We're kind of working around what is there. Yeah. So another thing, actually, um, that I had seen before in the Uh docs. So you added uh, padding so that you wouldn't see it when you pull from the left, right? Um, Or when you pull to the left, rather. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Or you did that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, if you click into, uh, um, where is it? Ah, oh, um, I saw the docs mm-hmm. here somewhere. So you know how I just showed you on the dismiss date, you have a direct, you can pull the direction. So somewhere in the docs, they actually mentioned that you can use that uh, for your background. Ah. Uh. Uh, because that way you could actually show like a different background depending on the uh-huh, way you swipe. Uh-huh. That makes a lot of sense. Specifically say if uh, dismiss state, that dismiss direction. So we could say if we're doing start to end, which is what we want, we'll show the background. Otherwise, we just wouldn't show anything. So this is a way mm-hmm. to not have to think about the at all. Uh, but I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't think this will work because then I don't know. This will no, work if we because... keep the only swipe to right thing, but it won't work yeah. uh, if we have the swipe left. Uh, Can we run sure. this? Sure. Let me take out get? the padding for a second, though. Sure. So, yeah, good call. Uh, because otherwise it would be hard to say. Yeah. So you go this way. Oh, yeah. It. That's what I'm yeah, worried about. Disappears. Like, in, all right, I don't like it. I don't like but it. Is there another um, dismiss direction? No, it's only that. Dismiss value, That's default, the... dismiss to end, dismiss to start. I think we also need to check the dismiss value. So that would be if uh, it's dismissing to end or if it's in default state. Because the, the thing is, like, yeah. the, we, we have this partial showing things underneath. This, to the swipe to dismiss, this is the default state. It doesn't know that it's doing this, right? That's why it's getting yeah. confused. Because it's saying, oh, everything is normal. I'm not doing anything. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I I swear I had those docs earlier today, and now I can't find them. (laughs) It's fine. Don't worry. Um, uh Oh, yeah, no, it's it's here. The docs say, um, for the background, it says you can and should use the state to have different backgrounds on each side. Do you have the link for that? I don't know. It's not working for me in this um, code with me, but I command clicked on swipe to dismiss. All oh, right. Maybe yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Own... I wasn't following you because I was animating the offset. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja edits. <laughs> uh, well, this is uh, I man, can see that really... on yours, but they're really not on Hi. my screen. Well, I'm so confused. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Sebastiano, and I'm an animation addict. Hi, Sebastian. Good thing we have uh, we have Doris, uh, the the animation person that is going to talk the to animation. us about animations on yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> it's gonna be my favorite episode. Right. No, all, right. all my all episodes are my favorite episodes. <sighs> yeah, that was. The most, <laughs> I mean, there's all all. Yeah, of that's them. the thing. Every episode there, is there, my there, favorite episode. I'm like my dog. Yeah, there, right? there isn't <laughs> one episode we're like, oh, I don't know. I've loved. Doing all of them, all of them, because I'm always learning something, and that's like that's the thing. I, I love live streaming. I was like always so nervous about the stuff in the beginning, but now it's like one of my favorite things to do. To me, like I, I am nervous about the technical mm-hmm. part of you know the stream is not working or the microphone makes me sound like a fucking Dalek. Yeah. That makes me nervous, but the actual content does not, because to me it's kind of like I'm pairing with you folks. I don't care that it's live streaming. In my head, it's unrelated. I'm pairing with people that I like uh, and that I like working with. And that, that to me is like, it's great. There's no way this can go wrong. <laughs> it, and I was always worried in the beginning about, um, about like bugs and crashes, but that's since become one of my favorite things about doing like live development uh, because it, it makes it real. Like, um, a lot of amazing YouTube content out there, and this is not like any sort of 
uh, criticism of it, one thing you don't get from like YouTube tutorials is you don't see that error handling. You see the finished product of what someone built. And there's benefits to that. But then I also think there's benefit in like seeing someone seeing someone's app crash and then seeing how other developers solve that issue. It's like every time I have an app crash, I'm like, this is actually a learning opportunity. And then all of a sudden it's not something to be embarrassed about because it oh, happens. Yeah. And I'm helping learn how to read stack traces, how to, you know, find bugs in your logic. Like, and that's something that you only get in live coding. Um, because I'm not going to intentionally put this up on YouTube, but if it happens, then great. Like, I, so it's like, I, 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 I couldn't I agree space, more. What's this about? Now it's one of my favorite things about live coding. I couldn't agree more. We got, Sebastian, if you remember when we had the, the interview, with Sebastian from Dev Library yeah. with Google a few weeks ago. And you know, they asked why the app is open source. And one of my points was exactly this. You know, it's like a bunch of so-called experts. They are just fucking around <laughs> most of the time. You know, we have like a bunch of random commits or things that just don't work. And, and then so you see the whole progression, right? You so you have this incremental design, incremental development, and you see that you don't have the, the, the finished product, as you say, you know, just the finished product. Oh, yeah, he's so good. They are so awesome. You know, they never make a mistake. So look at the code. No, I mean, we, we don't do that. First of all, even if we do like 15 iterations, the code is going to be always shit because code is shit. Most of the time, and as I always say, if you like the code that you wrote six months ago, you are not learning enough. <laughs> so that's that. But that's the that, that's that's the thing that we wanted to do. You know exactly what you say. Like you know, you show you that the thing it's not binary. Oh, there was no app, and now there is an app. No, the thing went through like a lot of weeks of work on the onboarding. Even if we decided that we were dealing with notifications, so yeah. you know that's the, the that's the, the the part that I like. So I I completely with you, no, Sebastian. I like this guy. I mean, we we should bring him on more often. Always I like welcome him. to. I like him a lot. Anytime, anytime. Hi Maya. Hi, Hi Maya. Uh, by the way, there's uh, some light trolling going on in the chat as always towards me, but it's <laughs> fine. Uh, it's okay. It's a sign they so, care. Oh, that, that was, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you know, because they are not ignoring yeah. you, so they, that means that they care. Uh, um, so I just want to get the chance to uh, because now I, I saw what happened to the icon, Sebastiano. Stop doing things. Hey, it's quaint, okay? It's quaint. <laughs> I think you just yeah, invited yeah, yeah. more trolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just playing <laughs> yeah. around with modifiers. So, <laughs> I, so let's let's say that I'm giving Sebastian like a moment to fix this uh, because I just saw <laughs> Maya coming in. So I want to remind you uh, that Maya was the first winner of our uh, IntelliJ subscriptions giveaway. Ooh. So I hope you are uh, actually enjoying your uh, license discount, 100% discount code. And uh, we are going to um, give away also today. So we are going to go do like a, a break. I mean, anytime soon, I guess. Uh, and we are giving away uh, stickers and I think one more license, right, Sebastian? Yep. Ah, nice. So if you are interested, uh, stick with us. Uh, it's the usual format. So I'm going to just... Uh, give you like a, a word to put in the chat. We are gonna run uh, like a break and you type the uh, type the word in the chat only once and uh, the bot just picks a random winner. So stick with us. So did you fix it? I mean, I, mean, I just bought you like a minute. Like, <laughs> oh no, I haven't fixed. I'm just looking how this works yeah, under now he's found the source code. Right yeah, now. I'm just looking how this yeah, works under hood. Just... This is incredibly easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, that's that's one of the. This is the whole the thing. thing this is the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
we are gonna we are gonna end up with just a lot of animations and basically like one feature like two the onboarding and the list of notifications but everything is gonna be animated it will, look like, really, <laughs> it will look awesome like fancy shit you know like we are not l dropping one frame like nothing it's super perfect okay uh, so i i think here yeah, and you know why i was looking at the code because i wanted to do the the rounded corner animation damn it <laughs> but yeah. there's uh there's no way to do it uh from outside because i was looking at the state the dismiss state is frankly kind of yeah. useless uh, it's not particularly helpful <laughs> Like the dismiss wow. state yeah. only tells you it doesn't give you like the yes it doesn't anything. tell you how much it's swiped. Oh wait, but what is offset? oh there is no like no but there there has Can to you be reference like, that uh, offset delta, uh, what yeah which, no there is which one what um if you uh in the dismiss state there was a function there called hold on slow down in dismiss direction inside here you can reference an offset. Uh, yeah, um, so okay. this that one somehow. is a swipeable state. Oh, why? Oh, yeah, this is a swipe. Okay, it's not as useless. The flow. So you could reference. Uh -huh. It's actually a yeah. flow. Nice. And yeah. this, this bastard here, <laughs> is what we would do, like what we could it's use terrible. to do this without hacks. Mm. Mm. Reflection. I call. I, I call the reflection. But this card. is not a class. Well, this is a class. <laughs> ah, but shit. You know. It's like no. Nah, but I was looking how the the swipe to dismiss composable itself is implemented, uh, which is it has the anchors here. Like it's passing the swipeable anchors. Blah blah blah. That's fine. Uh, I want. I want to play another card. Let's let's play the issue trigger card. Let's the just now oh, there yeah. is an issue in your API. It's a bug. The thing is internal. It should be public. No, but there might be a reason why this is internal. I, I don't know if there is like a getter I, or something. Fresh. I saw a talk from Chet Haas one time, and he was talking about how uh, people would use reflection to access like private. Uh, fields inside the Android SDK. He's like, but then we would change stuff and everyone would yell at us for breaking their apps. And he's like, you're the ones who are going after these private APIs. Like, why is this my fault? And, yeah. yeah. But then I remember him saying that the Android team took that and was like, if everyone is doing this, then maybe the field shouldn't have actually been private. So I think they've made some changes based on that. But all right. So, all right, we got dismissing. Now we need to actually well, do the dismissing. Remove it from the list, yeah. right? Well, in so, this case, it's just snoozing. Um, so, uh, yeah. So one thing that we need before we actually remove uh -huh. it from the list, we need the snoozing. Is um, uh, okay. So we've got our snooze background, and okay, we're actually already calling. Okay, we did add the on dismiss callback. Yeah. So if so I do good. this, uh, it doesn't do anything because oh, I haven't but, said nice. anything. <laughs> like the the, the callback okay. doesn't do uh, anything yet. But. Yeah. But actually, we should do a little more to this. Um, in addition to calling this, um, yeah. we should animate yeah. something, right? So, <laughs> well, we can set. Oh no. No, no, I got uh, it wrong. Uh, Sorry, I, uh, I thought that it was the episode no, no, about right. animating everything that's in Bastille I touches, was so. absolutely going you're to right, animate but that, just... <laughs> but I'll do it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not looking, the uh, next stream, all that shit is going to be looking. animated. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's run the giveaway one minute later. Fancy <laughs> stuff and everything sparkling. What the fuck happened? Uh, I'm gonna. Can I refactor oh, some yes. code here? I think I want to write this a yeah. different way, and I'll explain why. So, in the snooze oh, background, I'm gonna change this to just on snooze clicked, and just have this take in the lambda, because we're missing context here that uh, exists in the other function that I want to mm -hmm. use. So, 
here. So inside Snooze background, uh, we're gonna say on Snooze clicked. Is this thing? So whoops, forgot yeah, it's just yeah. slow. Uh, so a couple things need to happen here. One, we could say has snooze is true now. Um, we want to. Oh, we need. Uh, remember, um, do I need school. to? Yeah, I think I need. I want one yeah. up here. Let's do this. Uh, so we'll remember coroutine scope, but then here we can reference that, and then we can actually do. Um, sorry, looking at my other screen at the same time, we can do launch, and then we can actually dismiss. Uh, at the end. So this will trigger the animation that actually slides it all the way to the right. Oh uh, god! I, uh, oh god! Do that. I'm all over I, the place. Yeah. Um. So this will launch the animation that will actually dismiss it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think then we also want to call with. Like our actual notification call, our yeah. callback. I don't think you need the uh, dot invoke. You'll probably find it just this. Don't, that's preference. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. We already have has snoozed. So we can run this, and you should see that it will do the animation, but it won't remove it from the list. And actually, as annoying as it is, uh, you're going to see. Yeah, so click it. Nice. OK, but like I said, it doesn't actually remove it from so the list. So it's gone out, um, but it's not out of the yep. list. Right. Yeah. So that is going to get handled. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that, OK, inside our notifications lazy column, uh, yeah. we'll probably want to do some logic here okay so well, let me back up this me no idea how your application works <laughs> uh where is the active notifications coming from uh these are coming from the uh, there's a notification service this one uh so this one is getting the notifications from the system from the notification listener service it's getting them, and when there is a notification posted, uh, it's saving it in our database by the repository, and it's also uh, the active one because it's like this goes in the history tab, and this goes in the active tab because you cannot really serialize a notification object. So the stuff that is here is only stuff that is currently here. Uh, the stuff that goes here can be from days ago whatever i don't know uh -huh. so I this see. one right that uh -huh. you're seeing here are the ones that are in this flow where we uh we take the current uh list and we append the the new notification we do a distinct by and we sort them by descending by timestamp so most recent at the top i see so these are all Interesting. So they're kind of coming from the database, but they're not well, actually coming from the not database. Not in the screen. They're not coming from the database. They're entirely in memory. So this this is the like okay. this state flow here is what determines this data. I see. Okay, so if we want to avoid snoozed notifications. We can do that. Well, so it's complicated. Because, <laughs> obviously it is, uh, it's complicated because if you um, snooze a notification, you will also get uh, this one is also going to be called and it's going to remove it. Because when the system is snoozing a notification, it is uh, also um, removing it from, from the... The, the list of active notifications that a listener service would have. They're, they're gone. They will come back, but they're gone, let's say. So what we can okay. do, what I was thinking is, given that 
the the values that we um, that we have in the flow and the flow is this one. Yes, uh, active notification is something that we have defined. So what we can do is we can simply add uh, is news uh, boolean here. What this needs to be a val, and this one, uh, I mean, it can be false by default. That's fine. What we can do is uh, we can say that if a notification is removed but it is snoozed by us, like we have snoozed it, then we don't actually remove it. So we find the existing one. If existing dot is snoozed, we don't remove it from the, from the list we have in memory. We keep it because we know it's there. It's just snooze. It will come back at some point. So what we can do okay. instead is we can, let me close some stuff that we don't need. Uh, we can go back here and see um, this one would be uh, we need to go to the service we need to go to the flow I was trying to remember how it works it works like that okay so we need what is snooze flow? I forgot what the shit snooze flow is. Connected, snooze flow. I don't think we are using it yet. Okay. So what is snooze here? Sorry, I just I've I've written this forever ago, and I don't really remember uh, what's going on. So this is collect job. This is. <laughs> we worked on the onboarding for so long. Yeah, it's <laughs> like I don't even know, dude. But do, we, we don't we don't have like a repository that we can intercept, right? We oh, don't... okay. Now I remember. So you put, I think I seem to remember. There's something really horrible here. Yes, what you, this is terrible. I I want to to change this because it doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> yes, Joaquim. Uh, who wrote this? I did. Yay. Um, so the idea was that we have a separate flow. We emit into that flow the notification that we want to snooze, but that makes no sense. That's bullshit. So what we should do instead is just like make uh, this uh, function here. Uh, like we need to pass values to to this function here to actually snooze things. So it can make sense to have this as a private thing, but we need a public function that is snooze, mm -hmm. uh, snooze. And this takes in uh, a, no a notification, which is an active notification. And this one will actually do the snooze. Like there's no point in exposing the flow as part of the API of this service, because it's just like, Dirty. <laughs> it's really dirty. Um, oh yeah, I need to do try emit, and this is notification dot key. Uh, wait, there's notification dot persistable notification dot key. Yes, okay. So we have the key. That's fine. Uh, we should technically also pass how long for. So I will do that too. Uh, let's say uh, snooze duration needless. And let's say for now it's 5,000, whatever. That's fine, well, 5,000 is OK. Oh, it's a type, int, OK. Uh, so we can start by making this private. OK, that makes more sense. And we also need a private data class as news item uh, that takes in a val uh, notification and takes in val duration, which is uh, well duration millis. Sorry, you said you said something. You broke maybe. 
What is this data class for? Uh, because I want to use this in the um, in the flow instead of passing the string here. Actually, yeah. there's okay. an application key because that's the only thing we actually need. So this is a string. Uh, this is fine. So there's the item notification dot key and duration. News duration me list. Okay, so now we have the two pieces of information that we need, and this one, this private function, will actually take us newest item. Uh, newest item. Uh, this <coughs> update. Yep. Uh, whatever. Don't care. Okay. This is news item dot notification key. Uh, news item dot notification key. And snoozed item dot duration mill list dot long because I don't think it makes sense to pass a. We have long. a question about uh, how we are modeling notifications. Uh, random. Um, they're asking. It's hmm? random. <laughs> no, I mean they are asking uh, what we think about modeling them as a sealed class and they have active snoozed and dismissed. Um. It's complicated. <laughs> uh, the problem, the main problem with this um, is that, uh, how to put it mildly, uh, the, the notification objects you get from the system are toxic in the sense that they can only live in memory and you don't own them. You, you kind of have to separate the part that you can persist of a notification from the part that you cannot persist from a notification. So just to quickly show you what is going on here. So we have the active notification, uh, which is something that can only live in memory. It cannot go to disk in any way, shape or form. Uh, so this is not working for the history. This, and that's why I have entirely separate types. An active notification contains a persistable notification, which can have like it has a bunch of properties that are you know strings and normal stuff. Uh, sender up info is a very simple uh, data class that contains a package name, a name, and maybe an icon. Uh, the icon <clears> is <throat> not going to be persisted, so that's a bit. The, there's a bit of trickery here to reload. A persistable notification from the database loading the icon from the package manager but that mostly works uh, what you don't get is the um, is the rest of this so the interactions for example they are um, they are something that are you know th these actions here set up and eject those things have they are pending intents. Pending intents cannot be serialized if they come from a different um, from a different process, which is our case. That's kind of a problem. Mm. Uh, so yeah, whenever you have pending intents, you're kind of already screwed. What we are doing with icons is yeah. that like these ones are all the various icons that you might have: the small one, the large one, the extra large one. That's fine. The way we handle this here is that we have actually saved this to disk. And then we are reloading the icons for the history from the disk. Because otherwise, um, you're like you don't have access to them anymore. The second the uh, notification object is gone from, from you because the user has dismissed it, it doesn't exist anymore for you. So you cannot really keep the, like you you have to separate them to make one hundred percent sure that you're not handling one thing that is not meant to go to the disk in the situation where the data is going to disk, and that's why I, I instead of having a sealed class for um, active and persistent, I've made two distinct class and I used uh, composition instead where an active one has is a decorator of a persistable one because you can always persist some set of data but you cannot 
persist the, the stuff that is only for the in-memory ones. So the app thinks that all notifications it knows about are persistible, uh, have a, sorry, have a persistible part to them, but some have other data and that data cannot be persisted. And this is what happens in the, um, in the active notification uh, tab. I hope that was a convincing answer. Um, will we go back and change this in the future? Maybe, who knows? It might be, <laughs> if we figure out a better way, yeah. sure. Thanks. We definitely <laughs> it conveyed the uh, that's complicated yep. thing. The <laughs> uh aha. Okay, good. Uh also important here is uh because if you see here, like we have the snooze item on the notification listener service, but we only want to be able to snooze notifications that are active. We don't want to be able to snooze notifications that aren't active. And when you have a sealed class and you specifically target one implementation of the sealed class in many places, to me, it's kind of a smell that maybe you didn't, uh, you didn't uh, define the domain properly. Because if it's that often that you need to check the instance of, the the seal class then probably not great i don't know that's just me sorry that took a long time to answer but um there's a lot of complexity under the hood that's why we we worked on the onboarding yeah. the onboarding yeah that, that's bloody easy right. uh okay that doesn't that's not needed anymore this is fine yeah i I'm not a fan of having to use a flow here, uh, but at the same time, I don't really know how else I can do it. Um, so whatever, it's fine for now. It's not great, but I'll leave it to do. Ethic. Okay, I think that's a, that's appropriate. Uh, okay, so what we were doing was, oh yes, we have the on notification dismiss. Uh, what we do here is, uh, ba, 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 ba. yeah, we need to get, we need to do essentially the same thing that we were doing in the other. Miss so, me. let's see. Yes, we Miss did. Me. Is it? Yeah. I think we're live So, again. where is it? Okay. Right, we are back up. Go I for think. it. Go for it. We can see. We can see everything. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I go. just need to uh, reopen everything. But you do you do the thing in the meantime. Yeah, I'm doing the giveaway. So, it went, uh, we, it went for, uh, for uh, a few minutes. Let's run it. I'm just going to take myself out of the equation because <laughs> it's a bit unfair. And uh, huh? you should probably take me out, too. I am the guest. Fair enough. I, I also I also going to take you out. So the 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 thing now is very, very, very uh, tight. Let's go. Roll it. Boom. Uh, Nice. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. So, one of our subscribers. So, congrats, congrats. Oh, no. What, what was Wait, it? Wait, why is the message deleted? Uh, oh, shit. Oh. I mean, what? The, the, the <laughs> spam bot just punished uh, the, the winner. So, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you do? You I... win a bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You get a bag. Oh, no, you, 
you are being being a subscriber and you actually <laughs> being one of our first uh, subscriber you also get the three stickers so congratulations uh we are gonna get uh oh no well i mean you also got intellij right yeah yeah you also, I mean, you also get the intellij thing, right? lucky bastard <laughs> lucky bastard uh so um <laughs> yeah that's that's uh but now um we are gonna get in touch with you and uh, on twitch whisper kind of thing uh, so we need the address uh, if i remember correctly you are in italy so you are getting the um euro champion star uh whatever no i don't Is know he if you're getting the, that, no. the donna Roma one no, no, I think you're getting like the, the Italian one. It, it's the, like uh, some place in Bologna, you know, like a more like a cultural uh. thing. So there is no, there is the, 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 the Donnarumma one is just for Europe. Um, and yeah, yeah, because I have it for Netherlands and Belarus. So yeah, that's Europe. Um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, this is good. So do we want to go back to the code, Sebastiano? I have just switched back to the code. Um, I'm really That's sorry. Uh, what happened is that for whatever reason, uh, the uh, my girlfriend uh, turned on the kettle and that tripped because uh, I went over the amount of power that I can use for too long. So she might have used the kettle for like half an hour. I don't know. <laughs> but that that's Shit what happens. happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, not a big deal. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, so I'm let's just a heads up. See. I no longer see your IDE. You might need to give me. All right, back. right, right. Although right, you, right. I think you got it from here. We did the swipe this much higher, but yeah. But I'll show you the. Uh, I need to share the screen again. So bear with me for a second. Okay, you should now see it again. Perfect. Uh, I need yep. to get you the code with me link as well. So just give me a second. Because that was okay. You have a new link and I can show the screen to people again. Good. Perfect. Okay. So what were we doing before everything died? Um <laughs> All oh, right. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Now I remember. Now, hey, I remember. We were mm -hmm. doing. Yeah, do you remember? Hey, I remember. I remember. <laughs> uh, we were doing this, uh, where uh, we have the swipeable notification item, blah blah blah. This thing. Yep. Uh, we yep, had yep. Uh, this missed thing that we needed to do. Now this one uh, shouldn't be on notification content click. That was just like bullshit. Um, <laughs> we'll just call it on notification dismiss and we will uh, da, 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 da. okay so it's used here and on notification dismiss uh, this is also on notification dismiss okay great one thing I'm not crazy about here is that we have a scope and we're la launching the suspend function in that scope, but I would rather define the scope where we define the body of that. So maybe I'll not make this a suspend function and I'll just move the scope uh, up one level because I don't think uh, that it belongs there. Uh, on item clicked, this is the same thing. It's not suspend anymore. And who's using this? Uh, this one is okay. Mm. On item click, this is not suspend. And that goes here. Okay. So this one, uh this one is the one that needs the uh scope so we'll put it here uh oh no wait uh, wrong place it needs to be here yes because this is not a composable but this one is okay and here we need to do scope dot launch i mean it probably isn't a big problem 
but uh, why why is this still visible? Oh fuck! It's oh fuck! I lost it. Oh no! Did we lose? The yeah. Board? Oh shit! Oh no! Um. Okay, I'll I'll redo it. Shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, I think this is actually I'll call it active mitigations low. Oh, speaking of names, it's been a long time since anyone has uh, picked names for stuff. Have you all forgotten how to do that? I think that you know uh, Mark sure. just stopped doing it, <laughs> and you know then, then everybody forgot. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't poke the bear like the bee's nest. How is it? Is it like a, you a saying in English as well? Poke the bear, or you kick the yeah. hornet's nest, right? Yeah. Yeah, Something the like hornet that. nest. Cattle. Oh yeah, but you have. <laughs> oh, now you really need that. We need fucking. That's that's what you get, Sebastiano. That's what this is. That's that's, that's what enough. you get. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could not have come uh, up with a better name myself. <laughs> yeah, that's he's just he's just savage, perfect. savage. Mark is savage. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm still laughing at the <laughs> have another cup of coffee. Uh, oh shit, that was too good. Too, too good. I, uh, I took it off, but at one point I had a channel reward on my stream that I would write the next file in Java, and I was like, this isn't oh. fun. Um, <laughs> But that's evil. Fire, fire back. Yeah. Okay, try it. And this mm. is a uh, snoo. I may be a troll, but I'm the friendly troll. <laughs> <laughs> a friendly troll. <laughs> so, notification and duration. Uh, right, uh, that needs to emit this shit here, and this is, um, snooze notifications flow, okay, and now here we take, um, just the snooze notification, I think, snooze notification, this is, um, Nope, just this, this, dot, that, uh, oh, this is notification. Oh, why, uh, wait, uh, it's fine. Actually, that yeah, uh, that was a string, so that, that's fine, I'll just call it, I'll just call it kettle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This is definitely not gonna create any issue in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we have the key. This is done. Uh, we are uh, calling it here. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, that's done. So what we were doing here was that in the, was it the mains? Yes, so here we do snooze, we pass the active notification, and we don't care about the duration for now, but to do define uh, snooze duration whenever we can. Because we don't know right now how, like, when is the next time that we need to snooze to. Uh, we kind of have the settings, but that's going to be a bunch of work to get those values. So for now, it's just like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, uh, yes, this is kettle. <laughs> Sorry, but. I was mean, like cognitive dissonance. So anytime you have to write the, the <laughs> notification, I know fuck it's cuddle. Uh, uh, I mean things I do for long, right? 
Yep. Things I do for Italian points, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they, yeah, I mean, we, we were like, yeah, this is going to be fun. What could go wrong? And then Mark <laughs> just got very into them. And yeah. So, uh, I have to rename this shit everywhere. So I will do it, uh, more on the nuclear way. Uh, how, what could possibly go wrong? I'm just going to make sure. Okay, it's those. Atlas. Oh, I don't want to update that. Uh, okay, and I want to replace these ones, but not those ones. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Oh. Uh. If you go to the swipeable notification item too, uh, I think we need to make an update there um, and just remove this. Uh, oh, oh, not there. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, it's here. Uh, I can. Yeah, move. it's here. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we, yeah, we can get rid of that. But uh, the effects of that are going to be. Uh, it's probably just. Uh, we're just gonna follow the red. Uh, okay, so this is on dismiss. Uh, on dismiss. Uh, why doesn't this like it? On dismiss. Uh, well, we called it on notification dismiss. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else that is red? Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, right now, we haven't actually done anything with uh, with the items that are snoozed, but I I guess I guess. Uh, oh yeah, we need to hook that up. That's Fine. No notification dismissed. Why is this not? Oh, because it has a default. Oh, that's why it's not breaking. Okay, I was expecting it to break, but it's not breaking. But I can do on notification dismiss. Okay. That's fine. Default arguments are great. And then I feel like they caused me to make so many mistakes. Yeah, I try not to put using. them. It forces me. I try not to put them. But then it's really but then, yeah. but then your preview functions get so yeah. large and it's annoying. But then I only I don't know what I can't I only leave them. Yeah, see like this. Now you have two preview functions to update. I only leave them in the in, in the ones that are private and that are going to be previewed and the the other ones, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um I think we have hooked it up now. Uh, that should be okay. So what we can do, <clears throat> what I wanted to do, was uh, if the notification is uh, snoozed, then what we can do is we can add a modifier here to make it uh, like alpha something, like disabled looking or something like that. So we can do modifier dot alpha uh, and if notification dot uh, is the, obviously it's not there. Fuck you. Uh, is dismissed. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add it very quickly. Yeah. And I'm gonna move the constructor. Yep. Okay. Okay, so if it's dismissed, then the alpha is going to be, uh, oh god, I've seen it yesterday and I forgot it already. Uh, content alpha. All right, thank you. I never remember this one. Um, yeah. I'll do medium for now. Actually, I'll, uh, I, I was wondering, is there a way to say it's disabled entirely? Yeah, there must be a modifier for that, right? Um. Good question. Some properties have it, like buttons have it, but I don't know if it's a modifier on everything. 
Okay, let's um, see. Uh, enabled? No. Uh, How do you disable things in Compose? Hmm. Um, like I said, I think some components are going to have it. Like, do you use a button anywhere? Oh, uh, well. Um, uh, like, I can button have them. So does it? Uh, uh, so like it's, icon button it's a has the enabled property. Yeah. And it looks like it. Um, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it basically does the same sort of thing that you. You have. can do it with Surface though. So Surface does have an enable. Uh, yeah, okay. So it just depends on the. Uh, so the Surface itself is not clickable when it's disabled, mm -hmm. but mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There is it. Stiliano has to say there is a content alpha provider that has a disabled alpha. Yeah, it's the same thing as using like uh, yeah, content okay. alpha composition. It's alpha. this. It's the same thing. It's just uh, more uh, like this is using He's the absolute value. Otherwise, you uh, would do yeah local um, content alpha dot current dot. Um, Oh, right. Yeah, no, you need to wrap it. Uh, copy it from somewhere yeah, else. you need to wrap it. But like, okay. I think one is fine, like you have. But yeah, yeah we could reference like the current thing. Uh, yeah, one you need to use because otherwise you will use uh, uh, content alpha dot high uh, is not one. That's the weird thing. It's 0.87. Because it's you know in material text is 0.87 uh, opaque. Well, yeah, transparent um, is not like 100 percent, and uh, thus uh, yeah we we want to use one because otherwise we would have to use the high contrast uh, content alpha which is private it doesn't make sense. So you can use this and it is one by default. But eh, complicated. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the entire swipe to dismiss composable uh, has this alpha, and we are not alternating between 0.87 and disable. We want one, so we want full alpha. So that's why we are not using content alpha for the else case here. Also, this is not is dismissed; it's is used. <clears throat> okay, there's gonna be something red somewhere. That's fine. Where we build this? Oh yeah, in the service, obviously. There we build them here. We build them here. Is newsed is false. Okay, that's actually fine. Okay, so we have this stuff here. Okay, let's try and run it because I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> Uh, I think we are almost done. Uh, oh yeah, the only thing we need to do is to make sure that it's not clickable, but we'll see. So if we dismiss it, it's snoozing it, but we haven't, oh yeah, I what forgot, is... I forgot that when we do this in the um, service, when we do snooze, we don't only do this, but we also need to um, uh, to change emit a new list. Yeah, we need to do like this. So take the the value and replace the one that was there. So okay, so we need to do current uh, notifications equals that. Uh, and then we need to do mutable notifications flow dot value equals current blah blah blah. And then in here we need to mark that notification as gone. So what we do is we do current notifications dot. Um, well, we need to do find and. Uh, do could you just use map here like uh you um, could 
I am slightly okay, hesitant in doing that because that means that you need to put an if in the map and it always feels weird to me to have an if in the map. Mm. Okay. Because then okay. reference. I mean, I do it all the time. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, if I, it, it, I usually I, you know, I look for uh, Let's do one that. item and I change it, or if it's not the item that I'm looking for, I just return the same okay. item. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. It's, it's something that I that I find myself doing it often, especially with okay. the map index. You know, with the position. That's you know, like if you want to do. That kind of stuff. So I, yeah, I yeah. don't feel I don't feel dirty if I put an if else in a map. That's that's the okay, idea. Okay. So agreed. It dot copy is news is true. Else it. So yeah, that's it. Well, that also works. That well, that should work. Uh, you will probably notice that this What's is not going to return the item to its uh, non. Yeah, supposed to think about how state, to do that. But we should at least. No. <laughs> Why is it not going? Um, I, it might have worked, but I don't know if the uh, that alpha affects. Like the background. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, but we have put it to the whole uh, swipe composable, right? Okay, let me let me do one thing. I want to see if we ever stop here. Because I'm, I don't know, just making sure, you know, that we haven't yeah. uh, actually any to Because to, the only way I have to do that is uh, like to restore the original state. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Okay, so I dismiss it. Yeah, that's never called. What? Okay. What do you mean? This hmm. is never called. Like this, this, uh, it equals. Uh, why is it not? And it is the snooze. Is the snooze function at all even called? Uh, well, I should see the the. No, log. but I want. Can you can you put a breakpoint on the if it's I want to check called. the values or this is not called. No, I don't think this function's being called it's at all. It's not called. Ah, there is not even the the logging. But this one, okay, should yeah. receive them. So why is this not being called? Okay, so let's put Sorry. a breakpoint here. And see, and then also put a breakpoint here and see, and also put a breakpoint here and see. Okay, Let, let's try this again. Because that is the problem. Nice spot, Adam. Nice spot. I would have wondered for an hour if I was going insane and I couldn't do a equals comparison. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what, what's going on? I mean, equals. Okay, hard, so right? the collect is executed which i expect is this the collector is this the launch uh well the, sorry the launch is executed not the collect okay let, let's actually right. do this and see if the collect is ever called because it might be i need to oh, i need to restart it obviously i did the wrong thing okay uh I, we need to make sure that this is called but what is this is this ever called i want to make sure that it doesn't get disconnected at any time so it's snoozing but it's not doing nope. anything it's okay wait wait wait, wait. now it called okay. it right. but why would do why would it okay. take this much time i don't know uh if i do well there is a five seconds yeah but that's the but delay the, the, yeah, the amount of snoozing but I, I have done Go the, it. like it has done the emit, but this is never collecting it. But it used to work. But that's a try, that's a try emit. Try, uh, yeah. remove the try, and this going to complain about make it suspendable, yeah. make it suspendable, right. and, and go up 
because you you need a context somewhere. Uh, so, it's already so, there. Already so that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Try try this. Try this. Because you know the try try emit. If we cannot emit, it just mm. drops the ball. Yeah. So still not uh, working. No, uh, it is working. Wait, wait, it wait, 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 wait. It's just wait, fucking. Wait. So okay. So the the system yeah. listener thing is low as fuck. We know that. That's fine. Uh, oh yeah, we need to also do the thing where a notification comes back and we undo. The fact that it's snoozed. So we'll do that. Don't worry. Um, but I forgot to. Oh, not wor Nobody's worrying. I, um, I forgot to run it with the debugger. I think that was the problem. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to get it's there. Sad, the, sad emotion. The notification emotion. listener service is very slow. It's not our code is slow, yeah. just in general, it's slow. Yeah. Can we preemptively... Okay. So why does it take this much time to call this freaking... Yeah, I don't know. Robot? I mean, it's like inter-processing bullshit. No, but, but this can is we preemptively... This is all in Compose. Why um, is it this low? Hold up. Why... What happens inside show snack bar? Is it possible that it's like waiting for the snack bar to finish showing oh, before it actually miss. loses? What if we try like two mm. launches, maybe? Is this... Like oh, so that they suspend. run in parallel with each other? You might be right. Oh, we'll be suspended until the snack bar is shown. So oh. I fixed it. <laughs> I, I just Wait, inverted... What did you do? I, I missed it. I just inverted the line. Oh, no, they yeah. said that I fixed this. The snooze works. <laughs> Chat, I don't, I don't approve of the solution. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, that's... Well, no, it's I mean, bad. It's I'm very bad. happy that it's we have bad. Adam on the on, on the stream because he's catching the weirdest shit. I'm also happy that Sebastiano has a um a very very bad solution for everything uh, from an ethical <laughs> point of view. I mean, they work technically, they work, but from an ethical point of view, I I would probably disagree as Adam. Um, <laughs> but this is good. I mean, this I don't know event. if this is much better, but it's eh, it's better. better. It's fine. Uh, but jobs. why is so? I mean, the, fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. But why is kind <laughs> nail of? Can you refresh? <laughs> nice one, Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, I don't <laughs> think there's any other way to do this than to launch this in a separate coroutine. I, I can't either. But I, I honestly but I did not expect this to suspend until the the, the snack bar goes away. I don't yeah, know. it makes it makes yeah, sense. Is, it's so weird. Can we do <laughs> a sync await instead of? I mean, two launches would it make sense? Any uh, difference? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, not checking. really, right? Like, can we do this? Is that valid? Uh, give me one second. I need to do if... Because I, like, the, the thing that is missing now is that when a notification is, is newsed, as I said, it gets removed. So we need to not actually mm -hmm. remove it uh, in that case. So what I need to do is I need to do existing dot uh, any... Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 it's that one. Oh, I find it already. So if existing is snoozed, then return. I will not do anything with it. I'll just pretend that it's removed, but it's not really removed. Uh, I'll actually log it. I think it's a nicer thing to do than to just pretend nothing happened. Uh, notification. <laughs> It's snoozed, not really removing it. Okay, perfect. And then we need the, the same thing here where when we get it back, like if it exists already in the flow, then we replace it with, well, we do the, the, the same uh, dance where instead of, where the fuck did we have the map? Was that before the crash or was it after the crash? 
No, we have it. It's in the snooze function. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, this one. So we need to do the same thing essentially, but we don't. We cannot really use the the map solution here. Uh, we need to actually find the the notification, seeing if it's there, and if it's there, then uh, we re replace it. Otherwise, we do this. So it's kind of like kind of sucks, but not much we can do. Um, let's see uh, current notifications and if um, current notifications dot well no val uh, existing notification and we're going to do current notifications dot find uh, it dot uh, persistable notification dot key is equals to uh, SBN dot key. Okay, so if we have that notification already, then uh, we replace it. So what we do is if existing notification is not null. Then, and this is a place for a comment, uh, exists already, likely snoozed, replace it. Because I think right now that's the only condition in which we might have this case where a notification was removed because it was snoozed and then it's posted back when it's not snoozed anymore. So what we do here is that uh, we do current notifications uh, and I need this to be mutable, mutable list. Yeah, that's fine. Dot remove uh, existing notification and current notifications. Dot add, uh, and we just add the new one, which is active notification. Else we do this, uh, we just do this and this is current notifications blah 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 okay so we have the different behaviors is if it's there already then we replace it if it's not there already then we just add it uh, it's a small I optimization think... because remove would also not explode it would just return false if we try to remove something that isn't there but I don't know it doesn't really save us much in terms of performance because we still need to uh, go through the notifications to, um, to find yeah. one. But it, I think it's a bit clearer rather than, uh, like performance-wise, it's essentially the same, but it's a bit clearer to me yeah. this way. I think this needs to be um, add because the plus will create a new list. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, this... Uh -huh. I don't know. I could be wrong because it's a mutable list, but I know that add should work for sure. Yeah, that would have had to be this because the the idea is that it wasn't mutable. Oh, yeah, that's one yeah. way to do it. Yeah. So maybe maybe let's do this instead, and the same goes here, really, where we have minus equals. So yeah, we take out the existing Friends. one, put back the new one. Uh, this could work. Should work. And if it works, we're done. If it, if it doesn't work, I don't know. <laughs> we're probably done anyway. You can blame me. Okay, so it's grayed out. Oh, okay, yes. And so now it should worked, come back. It yeah, it's come back. There you go. The only problem is that it needs to reset the state of the composable once it's, uh, once it's gone. Also... Yeah. You might hate me for saying this, but I feel like the alpha should be animated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can. What 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 can you do? Like there is like an animated. Yeah, something. it's very easy. It's just like val well, uh, item alpha is animate animated float a state animate. Uh, animate float state. I remember it was something, yeah. And this was... And then the if, yeah. basically. 
if, if that you uh, saved so. and it was in the because I obviously deleted it instead of cutting it. It's new <laughs> snoozed. Uh, I, mean, I think I, th I think it's time to to, to wrap it up. <laughs> Uh, we also need to make it disabled, but that will do it at a later date. Uh, else, one F. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, this is by. And to do disable the item when it's used. I mean, the only thing we need to disable really is the buttons here. So that's not the yeah. big of a deal. That's fine. Uh, also, it shouldn't be swipeable when it's snoozed, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we we, ne we definitely need to look up the domain modeling of this yeah. stuff, you know, because now the the cards are, have a lot of state. I mean, at least a couple, so it will make sense to iterate on that at yeah, some point feels, after we finish with all the animations. I mean, it feels like this thing, uh, if if it's snoozed then uh, we can go to the dismiss state and uh, can you reset the dismiss state? That is a good question. Uh, <laughs> actually, hey. um, I think there is, like, I think there's literally just a reset function. Ha! Ah! Obviously it's a... Ah, we have to probably yeah, launch it yeah, on a scope, yeah. but... Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Close enough. Um, but we don't yeah. want to run this all the time. I mean, why not? Um, well, why is complaining? Uh, calls to launch should happen instead of a launch effect. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, take this and paste it inside that, uh, like... In, in the callback, right? Like, uh, we put it down here. Where we do dismiss. Yeah, uh, here. Down here. Yeah. Like we blow this one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but I wonder if there will be. Um... All right. Actually, let's run this it. does what... dismiss. I'm wondering if we'll have a weird race condition thing. But... Yeah. Right, because we wanted. Well, at the time, I thought we'd wanted to keep swiping to the right, but maybe we don't want it to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. I want to see what happens. It might might okay. be weird. But I mean, maybe a little bit, because it will go out, right, and then it comes back in. Uh, mm. It's not too bad. Uh, okay, well that's not awful, but we'll have to worry about that content offset. Well, we can do it um, the other way around instead, and just just not dismiss it, I guess. Just reset it, and we also need to do. Good. Um, has tried to snooze is false. Uh, that yeah. should work, I think. Maybe put the has tried to snooze first. Uh, it's probably not going to matter. It's probably fast enough. But... That works. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and then it should come back. Done. Boom. Whoop. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, now it does weird shit. <laughs> I think I put it in the wrong, uh... in the wrong state. Um, I think the problem is that also has news should go false here. Because mm. we need to reset our internal state, both of them, otherwise it's just in a weird state. So I do this, it goes away, it should come back, come back, and I do it again, and it works. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Nice. Well done. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, let's say we're done for oh. today. <laughs> we have okay. survived. The I'd be blackout. happy to come back and we could do it on the uh, other screen. Yeah, we can do it on the other one. We could wrap but it I think Ivan needs to tend his baby. And I, I have people coming for <laughs> dinner. So yeah. probably time to yeah. go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah I, we'll mean, do I, I don't know if my, my mark is so good that yeah. you can't see the baby we crying, can, but I guarantee we you. We can hear it. <laughs> that, we can hear it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, um, Ivan, do the wrap up. So, take care of that.
I'm going to do the wrap up um, because, yeah, we are also a lot over time, but it was worth it. Um, Adam, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And it was very funny and I, I actually like working yeah. with you because you have a nice mind. So you see things that, you know, a, a couple of Italians we, we, we miss. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that was that was that was very nice. Um, thank you and feel free to uh, join us whenever you want. And if you sure. happen to have a stream that it's not three in the morning for us, consider them, uh, consider that we are going to join you as whenever you right. want so we can we can do this um yes. for everybody in the chat i i appreciate uh the, the 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 vibes and the patience that you had during the um the power uh problem that we had um so thank you for for being with us thank you for subscribing remember that if you have an amazon prime uh, subscription you can subscribe to our Twitch channel for free. And it's for us, it's cool. Uh, we get a, a couple of a couple of dollars uh, per subscription and dollars the, the the amount of money that we do. Oh, did you, you just lost me? No. I can't see You're, my don't, webcam. Don't worry, we okay. can hear you. Yeah, so we we can get uh, we can get the stickers and we get, we're gonna get T-shirts. So please uh, subscribe to our Twitch channel. And if you are watching this on uh, YouTube, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we are gonna start running giveaways on YouTube as well in a more asynchronous fashion using the subscribers list and the comments below the videos. So we're going to announce it on uh, on Twitter. So keep following us if you want to win more uh, stickers and more stuff from us. So this is this is happening. So we are very happy. Uh, from um, a guest's point of view, uh, I think um, it's going to be on Wednesday, yeah. right? We are going to have Doris. Yeah um from uh, another another incredible friend from google she's gonna uh, help us with animating all the things sebastiano is already i mean he's already on a roll but with doris we are gonna animate as much stuff as possible so don't miss out the next episode on on wednesday and not only that yeah, but she's also going to explain to us how like animations work so it's not just going to be animating things oh, yeah. I mean, but that's, also you know teaching <laughs> that's just me that's just me that's just me i don't want to put it on the table already because you know because it's gonna be like with leyland there's gonna be another episode or even doesn't know shit please explain <laughs> animation to him like it it's five but you know spoilers this is happening this is gonna happen so you're you have been uh warned um so this is this is uh an incredible project thank you thank you for supporting us adam thank you again thank you and thank everyone have a good one bye, bye. Ciao, ciao ciao